Well, nothing's coming up. That was weird, Joe. <laughs> Torre Palazzoni is an 11th century tower, which you can see behind us. It's uh, a thousand years old, more or less. Um, and then around it, there's a series of other historical buildings which have been built up over time. Um, and together they create a sort of castle. It's, a, it's a, a whole village contained within the walls, effectively. We have, we have a chapel, we have our own wood, wood oven. Um, and yeah, historically, it would have been a small village. These days, it's a luxury holiday villa. So we've been working very closely with our agent, Tuscany Now and More, to make sure that we're compliant with all of the latest legislation. Um, all of our staff are in full PPE whenever they come in and work here. Um, but we've been very lucky because uh, with a villa holiday, it's a much safer option for a, for a bubble holiday than staying at a hotel, for example. We can, you know, really, really all of our guests are, are isolated in their own bubble and they're very, very safe. People can stay in their bubble and we can arrange all sorts of things for, for you on site. We could have wine tastings on site. Um, our chef is very happy to offer cookery classes, which are great fun. Um, and also we can do things like art workshops on site. We can, uh, you can do some abstract painting or, or do some painting on plon, plon air. We can send, send an instructor around to help you out with that. Um, so yeah, just really your imagination is, is, is the limit because we, you know, whatever it is that you would like to do on your holiday here, we can arrange for you. Yeah. Lockdown has made things really difficult in 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 a lot of ways. Um, I mean, really, just with, in terms of people being able to get to the country. Um, I think our our biggest worry moving forward is um, people, particularly from outside of Europe, being able to come to Italy. And I think there really needs to be um, a sort of consensus from the international community that um, international travel is something that we is economically important and that needs to be made as safe as possible as soon as possible um, so that people can go back to having holidays um, and particularly holidays like this one where the, the risk of infection is so small because people are just here in their own space. Here uh, in, in the winery we continue to work because as you know uh, nature never stopped and uh, we had to take care of our wine, vines and in order to get a good great production. So here down in Vineyards workers continue to work staying separately and respecting distances working uh, separately per rows. Yes, we improved uh, our website, uh, uh, creating uh, an, a, a more attractive uh, um, online page uh, where people could find uh, an online form to fill. We delivered uh, locally uh, wines uh, all around uh, village, these villages, Vicile, but also uh, in town, in Siena, and some more villages all around us, and uh, improving uh, our 
our sale uh, performance, uh, applying uh, discounts uh, in order to get uh, bigger, uh, bigger volumes uh, in orders uh, from Europe, mostly from Europe, uh, to say. <laughs> It was interesting because uh, bef in this, when we start to reopen, it was we had a lot of fear and we didn't know what will happen. And Tiana was totally empty, and Piazza del Campo was there was the grass in Piazza del Campo because uh, grow the grass. It was like a totally strange situation, but I think all over the world. But now. Uh, slowly, slowly, people come back. We had a lot of people from Europe, of course, like uh, because all over it was impossible to come from USA, from the other side of the world. The business was different is different, is going to be different. I think slowly, slowly, we had, of course, less than. 20% of people than the other years. So we had uh, not too many tourists, not too many people in the shop, not too many people around, but it was not so bad. <laughs> 